the dais to come and say a few words about the conference. We'll start with Dr. Shoma and Father. Thank you. This is a great honor for all of us to be here in this fourth Expert Neuropharmacology Congress. I believe this Congress will provide new opportunity for research and collaboration because they have a long tradition for organizing Congresses in Neuroscience and I hope that it will be a very fruitful Congress for all of us. Thank you. challenges and innovations uh, in uh, neuropharmacology. And I'll just briefly say one or two words. I think that there have been so many advances in things like optogenetics, CRISPR, uh, so we can introduce genes into the brain, image individual neurons uh, functioning, uh, also um, dread the techniques like this that I think are really going to uh, open up new areas and new areas of understanding of the brain. I think in the area of chemistry is another uh, series of innovations that relate to things like click chemistry and automated uh, fragment chemistry uh, developed by people like Mark and uh, uh, Barry Sharpless that I think are providing us potentially with tools in the future, a diverse set of new chemicals that all of us, many of us, will be testing in our systems to see how they may work in the brain. And lastly, in terms of uh, challenges, um, I work, as you'll see in a few moments, uh, in C. elegans, a small nematode. This is the simplest nervous system, best understood nervous system in the world, and we can't even understand how it operates. So just imagine 302 neurons, the totality of their nervous system, multiply that by roughly uh, several hundred million, and we have the number of cells we have in and so it's going to be a challenge uh, trying to use these technologies to actually figure out what's going on in the brain. And so I think things like this conference can be a beginning or uh, help to uh, uh, pave the way for us to begin a better understanding of uh, how our brains operate and how drugs are. Well, thank you. multiple functions to which today we are all sitting here 
and we are thinking in particular patterns. These thinking patterns are different and they are taking us to new enormous amount of admissions. This is just the beginning. And when any scientist or anybody with my age at least I have known that they think they have solved the nature, no. This is just beginning to explore, enjoy yourself, find the things of the nature. I would like to ask for a cautionary measure. And cautionary measure is the, the powerful techniques of gene technology. We have to discipline ourselves. What are our boundaries beyond which we do not go and try to make something where we are infringing the harmony of the total environment? With these words, I thank you very much. years of school. 